Hey everyone, in the last video we built a template, a full stack app template for ourselves that has a React front end is making a request to our Node and Express back end and we're showing a message here on the client side. So in this video, let's put this on Heroku. So I'm going to close this out, shut down the servers associated with it because there's a pretty important script we need to add in our backend package.json file in here. It is going to be our post build script that thankfully be uh, one of the changes that, or one of the updates that Heroku did, we don't have to call it post build. I can just call it build. And in here, I need to open up quotes. Now I'm telling Heroku what it needs to do after I, after it, installs my app. I need it to say cd. I need to cd into client forward slash and and symbol. There you go. Twice. Then I need to say npm install and npm run build. We save here. So if you've ever installed a node application before, you know you have to run npm install to get it to run. And right now it's just running a build script, which you can actually see in package JSON in our client, which will run React Scripts build, which creates just a minified, just a minified app for yourself. So let's clear out here, ls, make sure we know where we're at, because now we need to open up Chrome and get to Heroku. So I'm going to create a new app and I'm going to call this demo template. Oh. Heroku doesn't like underscores. So I'm going to say demo um, mern template because in the next video we'll make sure to we'll add MongoDB. So let's create this app. Looks like we have our app started. First, let's go in here. I'm gonna need to say Heroku login, then enter. Okay, so I'm gonna log in and I should have my information already saved from last pass, so that's already good. Looks like it logged me in, that's awesome. Let's go see what our next step is. Uh, get init and then we have to go through the add and commit process. So let's see where we're at with that. Make sure you're in where your server is. Okay, so I'm going to say get status, see where I'm at. And this looks good. So I need to add all this, get add all. Then I'm going to add a message here, a commit message that says uh, prep for deploy. Hit enter. See where I'm at. Great, let's give us a little bit more space because now I need to add the remote here. Let Heroku know where I need to push this. Let's hit enter. So that looks like it set my remote, this is good. Let's go ahead and now copy this line here which is git push Heroku master. All right. So let's give us some more space so we can read some of this information in here. So it looks like it pushed to Heroku and right now it's installing the dependencies on Heroku's sides of things. So these are messages just like we would have gotten if we would have run npm install on our side. If there was no node modules, it had to install that. So this is good. And it also looks like it ran that build script here, which is going to CD into our client and then run npm install and then npm run build. This is good. So let's make sure that we get a successful message. It might take some time, so I'll speed this up in the video. Great, I'm going to speed through this probably on the video, but you should end up with some messages like this. So it looks like it did end up running that npm install and build, and it looked like it the build was successful. And this should be a link to our app. Let's go ahead. Oh, this is actually the remote. So let's open this. Oh, cool. And wow, that opened up almost like too quick. Let's close this out. 
Okay, and look, here's our app over at Heroku, on our Heroku app. Let's open up the inspector so we can see that we have this object in here and we've got our message from the backend success. So great, this is a template for our full stack app that we can use to go further on our projects. Uh, let's go into Heroku and see where that is. So see where this was the new project that we created? Let's go inside here. We can see where we've got this deploy message and it's a uh, build success. Let's open up the app just again to make for sure. Here's our app, inspect, and there you go. And that's how you can get your full stack app on Heroku and deploy it on the web. Next video, let's go ahead and bring in MongoDB and then put that on Heroku.